This video looks at higher close reading and in particular it will show you how to answer word choice questions. In higher close reading, when you're asked to look at word choice, you should expect to consider the following. Firstly, what other ideas do the words make you think of? So what do you associate with these words? Secondly, how do the words make you feel? And what do these words add to the overall meaning, tone and atmosphere of the passage? And lastly, how do these words therefore increase your understanding of the writer's attitude or a particular point they are trying to make on the subject of the passage? In order to answer word choice questions, we need to have a firm understanding of the term connotations. Now when we talk about connotations of a word, we simply mean what other ideas do you associate with it? Now we'll apply this to a few examples. We'll start by looking at the word slim. Three connotations of slim, or three things I would associate with that word, are healthy, slender, and toned. Now we'll look at a second example. Three connotations of the word skinny are very thin, lean, and bony. Now we'll apply this to a third example, underweight. Three connotations of this word include skeletal, undernourished and emaciated. Now in this example you might have at first thought slim and underweight were very similar words but actually what we see is that subtly they have very different connotations so what we associate with these words is in fact very different. Now in order to answer word choice questions we need to apply the word choice formula. This involves three steps. Step 1 is to quote the word you've identified, step 2 is to write suggests and step 3 is to list at least three relevant connotations of the word you've chosen. We'll apply this to a few examples. Now we have a passage but at the top look at the question. You have to write a list of as many words as possible that you find which the writer uses to present a negative view of women in fashion shows. Now you should take the time to pause this video to allow yourself the opportunity to read through the passage and identify as many of these words as possible. Now that you've read through the paragraph, you should have managed to identify quite a large number of words that present a negative view of women in fashion shows. We can now see these identified on the screen. At the top, I've now changed the question so it's more in line with the type of question you'd be asked in a higher pass paper. It says, by referring to one example, analyse how the writer uses word choice to present a negative view of women in fashion shows. So in order to answer this question, we need to apply the word choice formula that we looked at earlier. If you remember, we had three steps. The first step was to quote, so you should select one of the words you've chosen and quote the word. Now, the word I've chosen is childlike. Step two was to write suggests, so you should now write suggests after your chosen word. And step three was to list at least three relevant connotations of that word. So I've chosen underdeveloped, infantile and underweight. And that would be enough to gain me one mark in a higher close reading paper.